Now here's a sticky wicket. How do you get friends and family to drop their guard and open up? Don't be shy. Approach them with the right tools and techniques. Candid recollections, painful, funny, and honest, are what make a memoir sing. Hi there. My name is Lynn Haney Trowbridge, and today I'm going to talk about writing about family, friends, and enemies in your memoir. Okay, if you're going to meet with your family, be prepared. Carry along some photographs, journals, and ease into it, almost as if you're hypnotizing them. Now, I found this was my experience with interviewing my father and mother. My father was not in good health, but he had all his marbles intact. Now the problem was that he was a master of tall tales. Remember, this is an Irish-American family. He was much older when I was born, 48, and I could never quite place him in history because he told me things like that he vetted the Gettysburg Address for Abraham Lincoln. He also told me that he rode with the James boys, you know, the Desperados, Jesse James, as if, you know, they were friends of the family. And so I had to switch the conversation to, Daddy, tell it to me straight, which he did. And he explained to me about the really hard times that he went through. And actually, he had been a cowboy out west. And it was a wonderful story, and I verified it with his relatives. Now, with my mother, it was a different situation. Like many families, she wanted to see it all as a Norman Rockwell illustration. So, how did I get my mother to open up? It wasn't easy. And I'll explain one of the obstacles I faced, which is when I was in fourth grade, a teacher sent a note home saying, Lynn is talented at writing. Mother sat with me at breakfast and she read this note and she said, Linny, promise me you will never write about me. And I explained this to my son Alexander who said, hmm, well mom, you know, you use Dragon Naturally Speaking. That's when you talk into your computer and it types and he said, you're telling your story. You're not writing your story. Situation solved. Find a way around it. Get your story. I have a client who is writing a memoir of growing up with her mother who was a drug addict and a prostitute. And she escaped from this world through foster care. I said to her, you have to go back. And I said, just remember, come with two things that will make your mother realize that you value her in some ways. Her mother was a good reader and also was a swimmer. So you come in armed with something positive and then you get them to open up. And her mother told a harrowing story of childhood. Now, what do you do about the black sheep in your family? The black sheep or all these people who did things of which your family is really embarrassed. Well, George Bernard Shaw said, bring them out, let them dance, because that's the spice of memoirs. People aren't always going to be happy about what you write about them, but you have to be faithful to your story and to the truth as you know it. So keep that in mind. People want to hear your singular voice. What happened to you? How you took in the experiences in your life. They don't want to hear from the other people unless it illuminates some of your shortcomings because it's very important. If you're going to tell stories on other people, tell them on yourself.